Hi traders, welcome to my Forex uh, video tutorial. So in this tutorial here, right, I'm going to share with you the best Forex indicator to use. And basically, this is my personal opinion. Okay, what I'm going to sh sh uh, share with you in this video, right, is basically what I think is the best Forex indicator for me. Okay, so basically the best indicator in my opinion is the MACD indicator. Okay, and it is always in all my trading strategy, irregardless of whether I'm scalping the market I'm trading the reversal, I'm trading the trend trading, it always has MACD inside my trading chart. Okay, the reason why MACD is because the MACD indicator has numerous features. You can do a quite a number of things, plus using the MACD indicator alone, you could come up with two different strategies to trade with. Okay, so first of all, the MACD indicator is able to help us tell the trend of the market, whether the trend the market is in a strong uptrend or a strong downtrend okay and using the MACD crossover we could also trade it trade the MACD crossover strategy okay which I will be talking about it later on in the slide in the video and we could also trade the MACD diversion strategy just simply using the MACD indicator alone okay and therefore this MACD indicator is a very good tool a very good indicator to use in trading chart in your trading chart and trading plan okay so first of all let's go through how do I use the MACD to tell the trend okay let's take a look at this picture here you can see that the price is moving in a strong downtrend you can see that it's moving down all the way and how can the MACD indicator help us to identify that it is in a strong downtrend you can see that this is the zero line this horizontal line that I'm actually uh, showing you here is the zero line we call it the water line some people call it the water line okay you can see the MACD two line is always below the zero line you can see that it's always below the zero line and the longer it is staying below the zero line is telling you that the trend is stronger okay if it's below the zero line can you see that all the way it's trying to tell you that now you're in a strong downtrend if you see the MACD line is above the zero line all the while okay you find that the price is always moving in a uptrend strong uptrend so basically from the MACD line itself whether it's above or below the zero line and for duration is above or below it can tell you whether the market is currently in a strong uptrend or a strong downtrend okay so like I say the duration is that you can see for a long period of time the MACD stays below the zero line it's telling you that this trend here is very very strong okay so this is how I use the MACD indicator to tell the trend now every day before when I start to trade okay besides telling the trend we could trade the MACD crossover Okay, you can see here, basically this MACD, the two line, can see that? When the red color line cross above the blue color line, it's called a bullish crossover. And from this, right, it's telling us that the price is going to move up now. You can see that? After the crossover, the price starts to move up further. Move up, move up, and move up. And simply from this, you can make some profit, can you see that? From the upward movement. Similarly, when the MACD cross down, can you see that? It actually cross down, the red color line cross below the blue color line. You can see the price is moving down and from this you could also make some profits okay I understand that the, the readers of my blog telling me that their MACD indicator right in the MT4 do not have two line they basically have only one line the MACD line so how can they tell the crossover so basically if you, you are also using the MT4 MACD and you also have this problem with just one uh, line one MACD line don't worry the crossover is actually shown using the histogram okay can see when this line cross above you see the histogram flip from down to up can you see that so in other words if you have one line then you don't look at the line for crossover you look at your histogram when you flip from down to up it's called a bullish crossover when the histogram flip from up to down it's a bearish crossover and it allows you to trade the crossover okay so you need not have the two line if your trading platform do not have MACD signal line and the MACD line don't worry you could use the histogram to trade this crossover okay so beside this crossover strategy we could trade the MACD divergent which is a very very reliable strategy actually I, I recommend this uh, MACD divergent strategy to all traders especially the new traders because it's a very very easy to trade strategy okay and it's very very reliable so what do you mean by the divergent you can see that 
on this picture here, right, we call this a negative divergent. Why? Because the price is making a higher high. You can see that? It's making a higher high. The price making higher high. But the MACD, you can see that? It's making a lower high. You can see? The high is, this, this high here is lower than here. You can see the divergent. This is making higher high. This is making lower high. And this is called negative MACD divergent. And once this thing start to appear, it's a telling sign that the price is going to move down. Okay, and therefore, most of the time when you enter a trade, when you see a MACD divergent, a short trade, the price will usually move down. Okay, as for MACD positive divergent, means that the price is making a lower low. Can you see that? Lower low. This low is lower than here, but the MACD is making a higher low. Can you see this low is actually higher than here. Can you can see that this is called positive divergent. And when this thing occur, right? It's actually telling us that the price is going to move up soon and if you enter a, a long trade somewhere here you are going to capture uh, the big upward movement and make profit from it okay so the MACD diversion does not occur very often okay so if you are those people who has to trade every day uh, this MACD diversion may not be suitable for you because it appears maybe one two time a week which is good enough for some traders because it gives you a very good high risk reward ratio okay and simply just trading the divergent itself there are people making a living every every month with just the MACD divergent okay and in my opinion okay like what I've said in this uh, video tutorial the best indicator for me to use is actually the MACD indicator okay so I hope that you guys can try this out try the MACD indicator out on your trading chart and to see how effective it is okay and basically for more indicator tips right and trading strategy you could actually visit my blog at forexindicator.org okay and this blog basically i'm uh, posting here for about since 2009 about two year plus okay and actually in this blog you could find a indicator that i'm using as well as a strategy that i'm using i share with you guys and best of all there's a forex faq whereby i share with my uh, newsletter subscriber okay this is a free newsletter uh, there's about 6,000 subscribers at the moment okay once you subscribe to the newsletter you basically get a free uh, down, download ch first chapter of my forex 29 strategy book and receive five tutorial and best of all you get to ask me questions every month and here is where I answer the traders question okay so uh, basically th this is a blog that I've started for to help other traders who are new in forex okay so uh, if you have time maybe you can just drop by to take a look at this uh, blog okay so for uh, more video tutorials I will, uh, I will talk to you soon